Hello, hello, hello. This is Angela with Dogwood Paper Arts. Welcome to my channel. So good to have you all here with me. Thank you for coming along and watching this um, remake of an Edith Holden into a journal. Um, as you know, this is a collaboration that we have become a part of with um, our host, uh, Carol at Free Spirit Arts and Tammy Van Antwerp. Um, Tammy, I may be saying your last name wrong. You might have to say it for me a few times. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I wanted to tell you that, um, I am using other papers with my journal. Um, some of the papers or cutouts I might be using are from Minte Papers Woodland. If you don't have this kit, you'll want it. And let me just show it, show you one side of it here before we go on to these. These are the papers that are in the Minte. And I tell you what, they are stunning. <laughs> okay, so you want to see the pack. All right, let me grab it. I gotta reach behind me. Um, where are you, Minty? Is this it? Yes. I will also be using some Stamperia papers and maybe some 49 and Market. These are all essentially in my Nature Journals um, collection. Okay, so here is the Mente Woodland Collection. And just, it's just awesome. So that's the first one. On the back you have some beautiful wood. This one is a tree house. Oh, I love it. It's got all the birds and squirrels and a fox and slugs and acorns. Acorns for money. Acorns for money. And on the back, just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Now in a journal, I may not use all of this, but I might use the back for writing on or journaling. Um, I might use the birds as a cutout. But how could you cut this piece of paper? Oh my gosh. Here's the next one. It is stunning. I mean, look at all the mushrooms down in here and some birds and here's a deer and another slug and more acorns and oh, an owl. So, so beautiful. And on the back, some beautiful, um, looks like barn wood all painted over. Very cool. Here's another big wreath. So, so pretty. Lots of elements in there. And here's a tree. We, can, we could count and see how old this is, but we're not taking time. Looks like some terrariums in here. Some beautiful logs all cut and flowers and essentials and the little fireflies and the lights. So beautiful. Oh my goodness. And then here's some of the cutouts and I may use some of these in the Edith Holden journal. We'll see. Um, I certainly have enough in the Edith Holden journal to use and it looks like you get two of each paper in here. So that is fantastic. And then of course we have this one with the cutouts on it. But I also got these cutouts to go with it. And I think I might like to use some of them. Um, I think I might like to use some of them. Like, look at this. Isn't that beautiful? 
smaller one and a larger one. And here's a fox. Mushrooms. Look how pretty this would be. Sitting down there. And owl up here on the flowers. <laughs> oh, and these are what I'm after today is some squirrels. So let's set him aside. Here's a beautiful deer. Oh, so beautiful. Flowers. Another squirrel. Let's put him with that one. Eggcorns for money. And a leaf. Oh, beautiful flower. It looks like a Lenten rose. A terillium. Or like a terillium. Oh my goodness. A hedgehog. And a pretty rose. Look at the beautiful bird. Oh my goodness. Let's put him aside. He's somebody I might use. A lantern. Back to nature. Explore more. Woodland. Stories. Another cute little deer. Oh, how sweet. Isn't that, isn't that precious? And what I love about the Minte cutouts is, is that they're all cut nice and close to the element so that you don't have to fussy cut it down anymore. Um, it's fantastic. I love that. Now, of course, some of them you do have the uh, white around the edges, but once you ink that up, you can see that it gives it a beautiful aged look. I'll just do a little piece of it so you can see it against the other pieces. So it takes care of it right away. I just, I just absolutely love Minte's papers. Here's some more mushrooms. More leaves. Positive attitude. Oh boy. Keep calm. And a little fox. A little owl. More beautiful flowers. Oh look. A slug. <laughs> How cute. Another hedgehog. And a bird. Now, I got this paper a very long time ago when I was looking at a, a nature journal that I, I wanted to make. Um, I still haven't made it. But, um, anyway, I couldn't resist the paper anyway. It was just too beautiful. Here are some berries. Now, I love the berries. I think they are so precious. More flowers. And more acorns. So you can see that there are a lot of excellent pieces in there that you could use in this journal. So I want to today though um, to come over here. We're going to, oops, there's those mushrooms. Sorry about that. Sorry, Mr. Mushroom. I'm going to put you over there. Oh, would sure look good over here though, wouldn't it? Little mushroom there and and this one maybe over here or maybe we should find one that looks like that well I don't know where it is but we might come back and put the mushroom on here it's just too pretty to pass up and I just love the um, I love the mushrooms um, I love to eat mushrooms as long as they're healthy kind um, but I just love um, I love using them. They're, they have so much character to them with all their colors and, and their beauty and it just amazes me. So I, we're going to come over here and we're going to turn these two into pockets here and here. Side ducks. But first we need to do these pages. 
Oh, let's come back here. I did sew around the papers here. I don't know if I told you that. And under here is some little tiny magnets. Let me put those over there. You hear that? Yeah. And they stick nicely, very nicely. Okay, so we're going to come over here and we're going to put these down here. Now, haven't decided yet if I'm going to put the washi tape on top. I might, I might try to use that. Hmm, we'd have to use two of that one. We might use this. No, I don't think so. Not that either. This looks good, but against this green paper, I don't like it. So, um, let's see. Let me grab another one. There. Let me just bring these over. These are some Tim Holtz colors. Um, maybe they would be better. Uh, oh, hey. Yep, here it is right here. I see it. I see it. I see it. Let's just pull this out and see if it's going to be wide enough. Yes, it will be wide enough. Oh, uh, not quite. Darn it. I need it just a little wider. Well, let's look at this one. That's labels. I didn't really want labels, necessarily. I'm comparing the size of this to this little width here. It's not very much. Um... But it definitely needs something there. I was kind of hoping... I was hoping for nature, but let's look at this one. How is this one? That's the same size as that one. That would have been very good, too. Here is this reddish color. That will not work. I'm not a fan of glitter, um, you know, that glitter stuff. So, uh, let's see. We have one more to look at here. Uh, I think this one will be okay. It is um, like stamps and stuff like that. So I think we'll go with that. I really wanted that one. That one is so perfect. We would have to double it up. We have to put one down here and then another one. So we're not going to do that because then it would get... Um, what's the word I want to use? Uh, oh, the, the pages would start bending too much. And there is that one. That one is very pretty. It would go. It's the same color as the birds. I think I like that better. Just because it's more Edith Holden-like. Okay, so we'll, we'll use this one. Okay, sorry that took so long. First, I think what I want to do is sew around these. So let me go sew around these four items, and then I'll come back to you. Just a moment. Okay, I'm back. Thank you for waiting on the hold up with me. 
Um, I'm going to put this down first since I've sewn around those. Um, my sewing is really crummy on these two. I forgot to make my stitch longer. <sighs> <laughs> oh my gosh the craziness of life which way do you go you go this way okay so first I'm going to straighten that out a little bit there we go and I'm going to take it from there to about there don't want to really glue it down yet. There we go. Okay, so it's going to go from there to there. So let's see. I'm going to use um, glue to hold this down. But I'm going to mark this right here where I want to give it just this little angle cut. And so then this will go all the way over. Like so. Details, details. Oh, I cut it off too far. Well, we're not going to do it that way then. Fine. I did it wrong anyway. We're just going to do it this way. But now that one's not long enough. Oh, God. Oh, now it sticks. Okay, so now we know what kind of day this is going to be in the crafter world. Okay, before it glues down again, I'm going to glue it. Where is my glue stick? <laughs> Isn't that the way with it? Sometimes when you get started, it's like... Oh my gosh, what am I even doing in this room? <laughs> Why am I subjecting myself? So I do want to put it right on the edge here. Kind of hard to do when you're Trying to line this up and that up. Okay. So I'm going to cut this one down just slightly. And then I really do need that angle cut. Just a little bit. That'll work. Didn't get it over there. That's okay. We don't need it. I just think we need it. Probably looks better without it. Okay. So up here we won't do the angle cut. How's that sound? <laughs> we'll just put it on. And cut it off when we're ready. Go with simplicity, Ange. It's the best answer. Okay. And so, I need to take this piece off right about. about 
there maybe? That's pretty close. I don't think it's going to be that big a deal, but if it should be, then we've done it right. And sorry if my head is in the way. Getting a good look at my gray hairs, are you? Okay, since my brain had decided I wanted an angle cut, I better just give it to my brain. <laughs> give in. Okay. So, there we go. I'm going to pull you in a little bit closer. We're going to start with this one. And <laughs> please don't tear paper. I'm just putting down those threads because I, I sewed way too close together. So I'm going to put glue on those. And you see I nipped it just a little bit there. That's what happens when your eyesight starts <sighs> not being that great. The reason I'm really gluing around that is because I did sew it too close together and I don't want it to come apart. And if it does come apart, I don't want it to fall out of the book. So it's going to be glued. Now we will get a lot of glue squishing out here. This is going to go right about here we go. I'm going to put that under there for a second. That it's going to be undercover anyway and glued down, but just the thought. <laughs> just the thought. My sewing is kind of lousy here. I just don't know. Okay, now this one you can see is not big enough, but I have a plan for that. But I didn't sew around the plan because I knew it was too small. So you can see, as soon as I cut that too small, I should have stopped for the day. But gosh, I was just at the beginning of my day. I forgot to push those down. So we're going to line these two up. We don't want to go over this line, otherwise these will get crookedy. We don't want crookedy. Take my towel. Just clean up some of the glue as I go. And then 
we're going to go down here, which I did not sew around, and I have, but soft, mine ear has caught a sound. From yonder wood it came. Now yonder's going to get covered up, but that's okay. We're still going to use it, and we're going to put it right down here at the bottom. It's okay if it extends in here because it's going to be covered. Okay? And I knew there was no way I would get this sewing around without making a giant, giant mistake. So make sure it's on the page and not down on the page below. <laughs> and you want to bring it over to line up over here. Well, you don't have to. Depends on how you're making your journal. Okay. Get any glue off of the other piece. Now since this is not going to be utilized, it's going to become permanent, we're going to go ahead and just glue it down. So we don't need any washi tape on this angle. Now I do have a slight angle cut on this one. I don't know how I did that, but I did. Oh, rats. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. We need We need to cut a, a thumb place in these because they're very small and if something got down in there you'd want to be able to get it out. So let's put these on first and I'm going to need some words right here. This is the rest of this plant here and this is going to be from a plant up here. So let's do it first. Go right along that stitching. This one I stitched out much better. Yeah, my first go with the sewing machine is I didn't um I didn't set the um spacing far enough apart for the length of the stitches. And I didn't, um, what else didn't I do? I have to think a second. Now this might have to get trimmed off a little bit there. I can see it's going to. So let's look at it this way. And, oh, well, maybe it'll be okay. Don't want to cut open my pocket now. Oh, the way we have to do things. Okay. I'm afraid to look. <laughs> I'm afraid. Okay. All right. Now it works. So now we can glue this one down. Oh, Angela. Get your head on straight, girly girl. And we can either measure this or we can guesstimate. I'm going to guesstimate. Right about there. Now we have this cut as well as our pocket. Let's get that one out of the way. Okay. 
Oh no, look at that. Oopsie daisy. Oopsie daisy. I think we're going to have to glue that right there. Where'd I put it? Whew. There it is. I'm afraid if we put it there. It's going to um, catch up on whatever we put in the pocket. So we're going to have to tuck something in there. Now it's caught, you guys. <laughs> Oopsie. Oopsie daisy. Okay. open. Let's do this right. I don't like that. So throw that away. It just didn't look good. Next, find that little washi tape that we've used over there. And we're going to put it right along that edge where the pocket is. Turn it this way. There we go. Now let's look. Oh yes. Much better. Okay. So when you mess up, just it's okay. Just go back. It's going to you can fix it. It'll be alright. <laughs> it really will. And if you can do something over it, over the top, then that would be good too. Because, you know, this is not a perfect, this is not a perfect um, process. It often takes, well, a lot of courage. <laughs> and it often takes 
Um, um, it just takes a great deal of time. Um, I think here we want a word. Not holidays, not peace. Happy would work, but my cutter was off on that one. Cozy forest? No, that one doesn't quite fit, does it? I love nature under a fiddle fit. No. If you truly love nature, you will find beauty everywhere. That will work. So we're going to cut this off a little bit here, just like that. Am I on camera? Yes. And then we're going to have to cut it off just sparingly, just a slight hair, a snip, just a snip. That's too much of a snip, I'm sure. Oh dear. Okay. If you truly love nature, you will find beauty everywhere. Um, does that include in some people? that try to mess up your whole day? I guess it does. We'll find beauty in what they do have to say. Okay, so there's that. Now, let's go up here and do this one correctly. Okay, so first we need to glue this on, just like this, and you can see it's the rest of this and the rest of this. And I've already gone around it with ink. So, gosh, I've been exploring other journal um, creators and crafters, and it's really amazing what people are doing right now. to the edge. Okay. Now we're going to cut that and then we're going to put some washi tape in there. So this is going to get cut, hmm, not there, maybe right there. Hang on, trying to line it up. There we go. So let's add our washi tape there.
things still need to be trimmed down a bit. Off of there. Set my little shards of washi tape aside, and those will go on that on a card I'm putting washi tape onto that doesn't quite make it to the that doesn't quite make it to the journal. Okay. Wow. This is taking forever, isn't it? I really uh, <laughs> kept you a little while here. Just for a couple pockets. Yeah, 40 minutes we've been going now. All my mistakes. My goodness. Okay. Now, just to make it look okay where we're at, let's see, where's my brown pen? I wonder if I have a brown pen anymore. Ooh, it's a bold. I don't really want a bold. What's this one? Is it orange? I don't want orange. Yep, that one is orange. No, you're not having it. I thought that was a bold. So anyway, what we'll do is we'll go right here. And make some faux sewing lines. Doesn't have to be perfect. There we go. Got to have a back stitch here. There we go. There. Works for me. Okay, so there we are. <laughs> All that work just to get this far. My goodness, who knew? I will have to sand that down a little bit. I don't want to keep rubbing it with my finger because it'll cause paper cut. But you can see they're kind of sticking together a little bit here. That is not one of my better... Um, pockets but it's going to have to do so that is those um, before I let you go let's um, let's see what we can do down here um, perhaps we could put a slug there and maybe a bird sitting here on this I don't want the slug and the bird. Um, no. We could have a flower and a berry. 
No. Could have a flower. There's a little flower. And an acorn. No. I do like the acorn down here. I think that looks cool. And I like the flower up there. I just feel like the flower needs something with it. Where's my leaf? Here's a leaf. That's the giant leaf. I think we need a little smaller one. Oh, here's one. Maybe it's too big though. Yeah, look at that. Way too big. Okay, here's a little flower. And a little leaf. There we go. Very nice. Okay, so we'll add those two things to this page to kind of fill in some gaps. So let's go around this real quick. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just need a little essential vintage photo on it. going to put this like well, probably gonna have to be like that so this will go about there I suppose flower is a little bit directional Just a little directional. We'll just offset it a little bit there. And then put this acorn down here. There we go. Oh, I like it. I do, I do. Okay, so we have that little piece done. And um, we'll come back and we'll need to finish this side. We're going to put um, some cards in here. Maybe, maybe a little journal. And then here we have to decide and then we're going to go over to this side there's going to be a journal right in here so you can see where I originally made my things to make a one inch spine in there is no longer happening because of how I installed this piece here so this will become the front and that will become the back. These will both be nice and flattened out. But right in here will be a journal. It won't be big. It won't be huge. This will have some extra flips and flops and folds put on it. So when we come back, we're going to actually probably start on this side and then we'll come back and get this decorated but anyway hope you all have a great day and I will see you oh how about tomorrow Does that sound okay all right well I'm going to delete some of this out and give it a little edit before I post it on the web all right hugs to all of you bye